Good day everyone, this is Alvin again from the Philippines and welcome to another edition of Miss Universe 2019 Contestants Profile Review and Analysis. And today, we are going to talk about Miss Universe España 2019. And since Spain belongs to the European region, here is my current ranking for that group. And this ranking is currently based on my fifth leaderboard for the Miss Universe 2019 pageant, which will be updated in between one to three days from now because I will be releasing my sixth leaderboard for the pageant. Exciting. So you have to watch out for that as well. Let's begin. Spain started competing in 1960 and they have already won once and that was in 1974 with Amparo Munoz. Their most recent placement was in 2017 with Sofia del Prado finishing in the top 10. This year, they just crowned Natalie Ortega. She's 20 years old and she is half Spanish, half Norwegian. She is pursuing her studies in administration and get this, she speaks five languages. Amazing. Honestly, when I saw the updates about her winning and I take a look at her, I told myself she's just okay to me. But when I watched her crowning moment, she actually looked very beautiful. However, profile-wise, I think she needs to make it a lot stronger because compared to other candidates from Europe this year who's got a lot of strong profiles, then she really needs to work on it to go along with the heavy competitors. For her national pageant performance, during the swimsuit round, her face just looks very beautiful. And I love that she's a blonde because we have very, very few blondes this year. Her body is also decent, but the walk... I am not really sure because it looks really wobbly and shaky to me. But don't worry, she still have time to work it out. Some training and polishing could definitely help. During the evening gown competition, I like seeing her in blue gown, although the gown just looked too simple for me. Again, pretty face, super beautiful face, but I am not getting that much impact in her performance. Now, in comparison to other candidates this year, Spain is one of the ladies who's got huge potentials of making it in the top five for Europe. Even if this region is also strong, but in order to do that, they really need to double or even triple the effort to catch up. But I am very positive that Spain could do it if they will work for it. For now, my placement for her in my ranking is just based on how I've seen her so far. So let's see how she does in the next weeks and next months to come. So having said that, here is my most updated ranking for the European region. And as what you can see, my number 10 is Denmark with Spain debuting at number 9. Number 8 is Czech Republic. 7 is Iceland. 6 is Great Britain. 5th is Netherlands, 4th is Russia, 3rd Albania, 2nd is Slovak Republic, and my number 1 is Ireland, Fionula O'Reilly. So if you wanted to check my reviews of these contestants and also from the contestants from other regions, you can just go ahead and check on my channel because I have also created a personalized playlist where you can watch and where you can watch all of my reviews of the Miss Universe 2019 contestants so far. So what do you think? Do you have Spain in your top 10 for the European region? Don't forget to leave your comments below. Don't forget to give a thumbs up and share the video as well. And most importantly, don't forget to subscribe because you'll be seeing more of this videos in the future. So for now, thank you very much and have a wonderful day from the Philippines.